Well, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are. So today, I decided it would be a cool thing just to chill out. Um, today should be a Saturday when I upload the video and I just thought it'd be cool to just have a quick chat Talk about some new stuff. I just got in and um, Obviously this morning was pretty rough for many <laughs> Disney lovers this morning uh, As I knew about the May collection here um, I, I if you guys did not see my other video on the April Minnie Mouse launch I kind of knew it was gonna be pretty hectic um, even from the Star Wars launch it was I didn't get anything from the Star Wars launch uh, so um, I was like okay let me think about getting some of the stuff in the May now I wasn't too into the May like I thought the May was pretty but it wasn't my thing so I was like you know what I didn't get I did have money aside for the Star Wars collection uh, I really didn't want some things from the Star Wars and so I was like okay you know what so I didn't get anything from the Star Wars I'll check out the May, but I had no hopes. Um, and I could have got some stuff, but I'm the type of person that's all or nothing for me personally. Uh, so, but this morning was pretty hectic. And I know a lot of people are upset with uh, Shop Disney. Um, that server is ridiculous. Um, and hopefully, if you guys got to get some things that you wanted, I hope you did. Uh, but definitely, I think they need to step up their game. Personally, Personally, I know Disney probably ain't watching this. I think they should do a early access uh, email to maybe their, you know, maybe even the D23 people who are registered or whatever, or who has an account, maybe send an early access email to them and they can randomly send it whenever they want. And they have to use that link to check out. I think that will definitely reach more people in order to get the items versus these scoppers or bots or whatever you want to call them or do pre-orders i mean <laughs> pre-orders <laughs> there's nothing wrong with pre-orders i don't that's what pre-orders do like i mean granted you may not have that hype but at least you can even do this disney they could do something where they do a subscription program where you just like for the whole year you pay you know, every month you pay this amount and you're you're going to be surprised on what type of ears they are. Maybe you're, but you'll be guaranteed the ear, you know, all the items. But hey, you know, every month you pay $200 or something like that and you are guaranteed to get everything in the, for the month and you can cancel any time. I mean, I don't know. These are just random thoughts uh, <laughs> today that I thought why not talk about them. But yeah, if you were able to get something, I hope you did. Um, I honestly do believe that you speak loud with money. So if you can't avoid it, please avoid trying to get this stuff from eBay. I mean, they have some outrageous prices. I've already seen them. Um, but the more you spend on those sites, the more they will continue to do what they're doing. So I think that hopefully Disney is putting some of the stuff to the side because of me and my major, I just feel like they probably are gonna have some of the stuff available for the store reopenings uh, so that the stores will be hyped up and be busy. So just have faith that that would be on there. And regardless, if you don't spend the money now, the Skype, the people on eBay and all these other sites, they won't see the demand for it. They'll have to drop the prices anyway. But because they see a high demand for it, that's why they're charging so much. But obviously it's your money. You do you boo. <laughs> but that's it for that rant. <laughs> so the other thing I want to chat about is I want to do a quick little follow up. Um, if you guys do not see, that is that Cinderella carriage there. Oh, it is amazing. I have tried all three scents. If you did not get a chance to see that video, I think it was called the Cinderella uh, carriage video. Uh, so I tried all three scents in there so far. It is absolutely fantastic. What I really love about that is that it lingers. <laughs> um, you know, like I, I buy candles a lot, but when you blow out a candle, it lingers for a little bit and that's it. But this, this lasts is like, if I start this in the morning and maybe turn it off in the afternoon or something like that, the, it's the next day I can still smell it it may be not as strong but it is very pleasant so I think I'm going to get more scents uh, I wasn't too I was a little bit scared to get this I'll be honest with you guys I didn't say it in my last video but uh, with this one here um because when I looked it up to get it I found that it was kind of a what you call it a MLM or whatever the case may be so I'm not a huge fan of those type of companies to be honest 
uh just my two cents uh so don't kill me if you are one of them it's fine but i'm just not a huge fan of it because i do know some people who got involved in those type of things and we lost some friends through that adventure but um i do really love the concept of this so i probably am going to buy some more uh, uh scents to go into this and i absolutely do love it um so i i do if you i would recommend a warmer I don't know if I would technically get it from this company that I saw, but I definitely recommend a warmer. But if you're into Cinderella, it's really pretty. So hopefully you like the way that looks back there. And um, yeah, so let's get into the meat and the potato of the video. <laughs> so what I wanted to do with this video is I got a couple of things here. I was going to put all, oh, the shirt. I'm all over the place. The shirt, if you guys not see, I do have on that Cinderella shirt. It is very comfy. Um, and that is that shirt. So obviously uh, the, the other part of this video is to go over this company. It's called Al Aldi. Yeah, and they did a whole collection here. So I'm gonna probably insert some pictures. Um, the, the promo pictures for this Cinderella collab was just fantastic. I mean, the, the models looked fantastic. This yellow, this yellow handbag with these yellow shoes, amazing. This uh, pink with the clear shoes, amazing. Uh, this girl doing it with the blue bag <laughs> and the blue heels, amazing. So the pictures just drawn me to this collection, right? So this is my, so that's why I wanted to do it. And obviously, if you guys do not know, I am a huge Cinderella fan. So I was like, okay, let me try this out. I've never ordered from this brand before ever. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna order all this stuff. And again, I since I had some budget left, cause I didn't, I budget my collectibles and all the other stuff just so you get to know me a little bit. Um, so I was like, okay, I got some things so I can really splurge on this collection, why not? Oh my goodness. So. I got some of the product in. So this is gonna kind of be part one, and I'll probably do a part two, because I got some more stuff coming in. Uh, and I was gonna do all this together, you know, but with this morning, with <laughs> the Mickey Mouse launch, and of course the Star Wars launch, and all that stuff, I was like, oh, why not just do a video and just talk and just have some fun with you guys. So I was like, let me just go ahead and open some of the stuff here uh, with you guys. And I must say, I am not impressed with this company so far. Now, granted, I have not um, called them yet. Uh, I think they're only open Monday through Friday, so today's Saturday. So I haven't called them yet. I was going to kind of put everything together to do the video, just one whole whole thing. But I, as I've been getting the product and I just haven't been liking the way I've been getting the product, I decided to just go ahead and look at some of the stuff so i figured why not film it with you guys and kind of let you know my thoughts on just the presentation of this right now um and you know just to you know warn you <laughs> i guess if you were thinking about this collection um and you know hopefully you know you had a better experience but this is just from my experience and i think i do have one of these places in the um malls near me so i probably can go ahead and return but my mall in my area is still closed we're still on um, shut down so I won't be able to return everything quite yet but all right so anyway so this is how the stuff came so it came <laughs> and all these like black bags there's no wrapping in any of these bags at all so the stuff is just exposed into plastic bags and some of the stuff I brought um got damaged <laughs> All right, so let's, let's first talk about what I got damaged. So this one was the band, okay? So this was the the band. This was, I think, I don't know if they have the prices on here. I don't even know. You know what? It, I think it was about $28 or something like that. So as you can see, it came in this little Ziploc bag. And look at the gems are all, like, broken at the bottom. Um, and this is kind of how it came. Um, as far as the actual uh, headband goes in general, it was very pretty. Um, this is what it looked like. So I was really excited to um, get it. Look at that. It looks really, really pretty. So it's really pretty. So I am going to do an exchange for it. But the fact that it was, it was just in this little plastic bag um, sucks. As far as the metal... And the grip around it all of this is really pretty it's just the packaging in which it came damaged it i know that's why i damaged it so i will say if you were um 
considering getting this, I would see if you could just get it at the store um, versus um, ordering it online. Hopefully uh, they package them better than that. And the other thing too, if you can see, um, it got bent. So it's not, you might can't see that, but it's not even like it's supposed to. So the back one is bent up um, because, you know, I mean, it's, it's UPS. The stuff is all in the boxes, but it is absolutely uh, gorgeous as far as the actual band itself. So I am going to get an exchange for it. So that's why I say, guys, it'll probably be a part two based off of how the customer service goes. <laughs> so you guys can see it, but it is an absolutely adorable band. So I do like that. Um, so let me just make sure you guys can see a little close up on it. So that's really cute. It's just that that was my situation with that. So I am going to um, go ahead and put this back but that was, that was the problem number one. <laughs> so I got two of these. These are the, only needed one. I did not want to. So I got two of these. These are the Cinderella uh, wallet pieces, um, the clutches. And I got two of them instead of just a pleasant. Uh, but let me show you one of them. So that's not as bad to get two, but at the same time, I feel like, I think it may be sold out. So technically, someone didn't get their chance to get one because they messed up and it sent me two. And I, I swear to you, I only ordered one. Um, so this is the front of this bag. It's very heavy too. Hopefully you guys can see all the, the glitter. Um, the pink kind of goes from pink to orange. It's kind of like a, 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 I guess, unicorn type of vibes. Um, and then the um Gus Gus I can't think of his name right now but Gus Gus has uh green stones he has stones in his hat and the other guy has red you have the girls up top there's no stones up here there's stones kind of in the dress um she has a couple of stones in her little scarf um and then I think and there's stones obviously in the actual Cinderella now as far as the top piece here let me just give you another close-up on what I'm talking about so so some of my things with this one okay one these stones at the top just don't go all like their spaces and I feel like that could have been all sealed up so I don't like that so that's that's one of my issues with it so far um, as far as when you open it up how do you open this up it's kind of I don't know it doesn't it doesn't seal like it should like it's let me kind of show you guys like it just I don't know it just doesn't have a good clamps to it so if you have these type of bags um, I don't know if you typically you know use these bags but I do and typically this has a very strong um, magnet or something like that to really make sure your stuff's closed you hear that it's just it's very soft um the other thing with this one is i feel like you would end up losing these gems like if you actually wanted to use the bag and not just have it on display that is is very just like it's not stitched very in very well in my opinion again just in my opinion um and i just don't think that it's stitched in very well so i feel like if you try to use this out and about um you will lose some of the gems. That would be my only thing. It literally just feels like they're glued on here. So as far as, and you shouldn't have to do, because I think this was 65 bucks, you could add some more of these little rhymes to go all the way across, but that's, see how it's kind of spaced out? So that's just my thing with that. As far as when you open it up, um, this is the inside of it right here. And then of course it has like the metal the metal thing here um so as far as the inside of this goes i'm not a huge fan that the piece here kind of i don't know it kind of see it has a hole right there so it, that's kind of annoying um and then i just feel like if you were trying to you know sometimes you get keys or something when clutches or a little change or something like that that hole could get bigger just depending on what you have in there and again it's just it's me just kind of going over like if you're using it on a daily basis not just kind of just using it as decor you know just 
collecting it, if you're actually using it, it could be some issues. And then the other one here, it has a little zipper here. And you, it's very tight. Um, so it was very, very tight here. Um, and again, like I said, I and this I'm assuming would be like a card holder pocket on this side. So I don't know. It's really cute. It's really cute. I'm thinking about like, you know, you're holding it and it's, it's a book and stuff like that. And I actually wanted to get it for like when I just kind of do like quick little knickknacks and, you know, uh, going around. But it is really, really adorable. It is cute. Overall, it is cute. Um, so I think if you are truly a collector, you would appreciate it and you would love it. Um, but if you're trying to use it for a everyday use, I think it would not last long. That's guess what I'm getting at. I think that this would, this is definitely more of a novelty than an everyday use uh, clutch. So that's that's my two cents on that. <laughs> earrings. Um, I did get these earrings. Uh, let's check them out. So they came in this little bag. Again, these little dirty looking <laughs> bags. You know, it just looks like something you would get from like a, uh, what you call it, a um, fresh fresh market or like a flea market. Um, but these earrings, earrings are stunning. Okay, let me tell you that. This is by far, so far, the best thing I have opened out of here. <laughs> um, beautiful, right? Absolutely gorgeous. I do love these. So let's try these on real quick. And let's see what these look, how these feel. These are kind of a bit heavy. Wait, can I get them on? What is so, I know I didn't just do that. All right, so because of my packaging, my actual stem was, was bent a bit. So let me see if I can bend that back. This came in the same, um, oh guys, this is broken. So this is broken. That's why it's not, it's not working. So I can't put these on, <laughs> god dang it. This is the best thing I liked out the collection. So I can't put these on because the, it actually broke. Um, so uh, this piece, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, see it's broken. Um, and this came in the same package as the headband. So <laughs> as you can see, I am not impressed with this company so far. This, and a lot of this could have been avoided by how you packaged it, you know? And this is the best thing I'm like, and hopefully they're not sold out because if they're sold out, then I'll be furious. I am gonna be furious. Um, yep, so I can't try this on. So this is, this sucks. All right, so the next thing I have here is the, um, back so you guys are gonna see me open this uh all right so this is what this one looks like so far so again there was no foam or anything so everything was pushed in but this isn't so bad i can probably you know it's a bag but again if it had some type of cushion it wouldn't be so so stuff um but it's this is pretty this is really pretty let me take that off so that's really nice you like open it up here so that opens up and then you have like the inner little bag that you've been seeing where you could just have like everything in here so it doesn't bother so you don't have to have everything clear in there and this is pretty much just a little let me take this Uh, let's see what's in here. So it looks like in here is the uh, strap and just some tissue. And it's nothing special with the inside. It just has like the, the Disney little logo thing here. So that's how this one looks. And you just kind of, I guess when you want to use the bag, you put the stuff in there and you'll have that. Um, and then you just kind of seal it like this. All right? It is plastic so if you did not know it's plastic it's not a strong plastic because i have some bags that are like a really really strong plastic from uh uh gas and from um it's another company i have so this one's it's just pretty um but it's it's definitely more of a 
you know, a little cute little clutch bag. And then this here, let me take this off so make sure. So this is the little shoe that you may have been seeing, a little shoe charm. It is not a strong metal, it's kind of more like a, it has some type of plastic covering over it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I can say that's, that's it. I mean, I guess let me take off the, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> do am i impressed with it no i mean i think for because i think i spent it's cute it is this one's cute i mean I, yeah this one's kind of cute so this is how this will look so this one's cute so it's a really quickly grab and go i think this is adorable and they show you that um but it is it is a plastic so you may um have be a, a little different way it kind of feels like to be honest this feels more like a makeup bag that's that's the plastic so the plastic of this is more like a makeup bag that's kind of what this more feels like if you want to really kind of know what type of plastic i'm talking about um versus like the stronger heavier plastic all right so this one here is the silver one so let me take all this stuff off here and then show you guys that one i feel like i'm just like not you know what guys i'm just so you know feeling a certain way about today and then now all of this is just like okay what um so this is the silver one this one's really pretty okay this one's cute um same thing with the plastic let me just take that off real quick so you guys can see that i like this one a little bit better than this one but we're going to compare the two in a second let me take one and the pink one <laughs> i was going to really go all in on this collection i'm a little bit happy that i didn't because i feel like as much money as i spent to be having issues just ticks me off guys a little bit angry all right so now that everything's off on this one that's what that one looks like and then you open this one up then you have your same little thing and i'm sure it has a silver let me just cut this and make sure make sure all the stuff's in here anyway so it has this little, this is the, the smaller piece that goes inside the bag. Inside of this bag has your strap. So this is the strap. And then it has, and inside it just has a little silver piece there. Right. So those are those side by side. So I guess it just depends on which one you like the most. They both have the Cinderella one. This is the back. Um, I personally like this one more. This one is just, I love this one. So as far as the comparison of the two, if you did want to grab one, I would recommend this one. This one's okay. Um, sorry, it's the front. This one's okay. They're both cute, but I like this one more. So those are those two bags. And the other star of the show is the shoes. So I ain't going to be wearing the shoes today. <laughs> Uh, but this is the box the shoes came in okay and um these are probably the most expensive thing i got so this is kind of how it came in the box and these came same thing it's just in the black that black this just in the box i'm just I, I like presentation guys so when stuff isn't presented really well i just it just drives me nuts <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna show one of the shoes um so this is what it looks like uh, i wear a size 10 so this is the size 10 of the shoes let me take this off pretty huh now these are pretty these are gorgeous and this is the heel and then this is the back where it says uh if the shoe fits i will <laughs> i know a lot of people say that it's going to be like when you finally do decide to wear these you're gonna be like oh my god i don't want to get this dirty because this is like a very soft color so you really wouldn't want to get that dirty right um let me just and then the strap is this is clear strap like if if my feet were done i would totally wear these but uh they're not <laughs> so <laughs> with the whole quarantine thing yeah it's, it's not happening so that's what the shoe looks like if you were wondering and that's the heel. Very gorgeous. I mean, I am impressed with the shoes. I think they are going to be kind of like a... These are kind of glued on as well. I'm sure they're very strong glued on. But I, I feel like when you wear these, the day you wear these, 
gotta be special <laughs> all right guys well that is it um like i said i will do a part two because i still have some more stuff actually coming in from this collection this wasn't all that i have and i'm going to probably update you guys and let you guys know how the return process went uh because i definitely am sorry so uh about these earrings that was the one thing the earrings in the band i really really wanted those <laughs> and for them not to to be broken it's kind of upsetting because these are really really pretty and i think they're gonna look really really pretty so i do want to uh, get those exchanged and stuff and then get my i'll be going to return the other uh bag so hopefully someone gets lucky enough to get that bag um but other than that that is all i have if you like the video of course give it a thumbs up and if you have not please subscribe to my channel talk to you guys later see you on the next one